Hey, 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 my wonderful Pisces. How are you guys doing today? Welcome to my channel. My name is Kamoy. So before we jump into your reading, I just want to go ahead and give a little disclaimer. I know that my videos may not resonate with everyone, and I know that they're not for everyone. You can find plenty of other wonderful readers on YouTube that you may resonate with. I do deal with spiritual work and spiritual mastery here on this channel. These videos are for my empath, my light workers, anyone on their spiritual journey that feels like they're some shit going on, but you can't quite put your finger on it where it may feel like you're ascending or you just need spiritual guidance, spiritual motivation, encouragement, wisdom, messages from your guides, from your angels, from your higher self, from your ancestors, you may be able to find something here. If you're into signs, uh, numerology, and astrology, you may also be able to find something here, okay? So we're doing your your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus for the wonderful sign of Pisces. We're just going to thank our angels, our guides, our ancestors, and our higher selves. We're going to thank... Uh, the divine masculine and feminine energy. We're going to thank all of the energy and the atmosphere that is here to help God protect, give us the wisdom, the knowledge, the understanding, and the courage to take action when needed, okay? All right, Pisces, I hope you guys have been doing good with this retrograde energy. We're going to pull your two chakra cards and see what you guys going on. Okay. So you have solar plexus, no, I'm sorry, soccer plexus works going on. And this is all about your emotions. This is about your um, relationships. And this is about change. And it's asking you to have perseverance, okay? You also have heart chakra work going on, my wonderful Pisces. And it's asking you to have wisdom, okay? Your heart chakra rules compassion, love, and forgiveness. So it's asking you to have compassion, to love, and to forgive, and to press through some things, okay? So now we're going to clarify exactly which your... Which I need to persevere through and to have your love and your compassion and forgiveness um, walk on. Okay, so we're going to pull the first two cards, which is going to be the overall energy that you need to pay attention to. Uh, second two cards are going to be your right now energy. And the final two cards are going to be the um, possible outcome or the lesson that you may need to learn. Okay. All right. Okay, you guys got six of fire, which is all about victory. Fire energy has to do with your intuition. And you got two of earth. Earth energy is all about this physical dimensional realm. And this is asking you to balance some things or maybe adapt. Okay. All right. That's in your uh, overall energy. For your right now energy, you got six of ear. Um, clarified by the three of fire, which is mental energy and intuitive energy. And you get the nine of earth and your final outcome. This is all about this physical realm. And that's being in a space of gratitude. Ooh, and you got the high priestess popping off. This is following your intuition. Okay. All right, my lovelies. Let's go ahead and clarify um, what's going on. So you got the six of fire energy. Energy, um, uh, this is intuitive energy. And the six of fire is all about um, having victory. Um, maybe some of you could also be getting an apology, a public apology in front of others. This could be maybe some type of award, okay, or some type of public recognition coming through. Um, so you're going to have to push through whatever you, you know, you have going on. Um, this two of earth energy is also saying that although you got a lot going on you still need to bring in balance my wonderful pisces okay um you need to make uh decisions and prioritize things okay and maybe even manage your time okay properly uh and consider a more light-hearted approach and a playfulness put a playfulness um a playful energy into things everything doesn't have to be so you know business like or rigid okay um sometimes it's okay to color outside of the lines all right all right, so we're going to clarify exactly what this victory is about and what it's asking you to bring in balance for so you can get more um, clarity on what wisdom you need to bring forth. What did my wonderful Pisces are going to overcome with this victory? Okay, we got two cards. All right. Some of you, you got the Eight of Cups popping up, okay? So Cups energy is all about your intuition. When the Eight of Cups popped up, pops up, this is all about um, disappointment and maybe even withdrawing. Um, 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 
withdrawing from the world and isolating yourself, okay? Um, this could also be some of you feeling um, like you're abandoned, but you it's like you're not sitting in this emotions anymore, okay? You're walking away from something, okay? So some of you are walking away from something. Um, you do have the Six of Cups popping up on the board, and the Six of Cups energy, once again, is love, okay? So you're walking away from something, and you're no longer stuck in unrealistic belief systems about love and about people, or at least you're trying to get there okay um you're no longer naive okay it's kind of like you know exactly what you want in love now uh and, and 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 you have more of an idea of what you want in life now so some of you are walking away um for better for a better love situation okay you don't want to be stuck in the past anymore especially if this is someone um Especially if this is someone that keeps popping in and out of your, li your life with drama, okay? Just know that you're going to have victory over this. And if this person did some fuckery, yep, mm-hmm, yep, yep, look. You got the tower card popping up. So there's definitely the change coming in. Um, you're going to have to pay attention to your intuition, which should not be a difficult thing for you, my wonderful Pisces, because you guys want are a mutable sign and you are a water sign. So... You're just naturally intuitive. So you definitely need to pay attention to that. With the tower card popping up, this is saying change is coming in. Um, this is also saying that some of you could be afraid of the change, but you have to understand that the change is necessary because even though shit is going to, you know, like um, change and fall apart, sometimes you need to let shit fall apart and let the chips fall with may where they may so you can move forward okay and this is going to be more like a guided change you see how this tree is growing and you have protection here okay you got the feminine and the masculine energy of um the lions which represents strength so this is more of a choice that you're making okay and and if you look at this this is a very direct hit okay so this is more of a choice that you're making and you're making this choice really because you got the Knight of Swords here popping up. And you're making this choice because you don't want to be scattered anymore in your thinking, okay? You don't want to be scattered anymore in your thinking. Uh, and you could also be dealing with someone that's very opinionated, my wonderful Pisces. Um, and it's like they don't even care how they say things or how it comes across, okay? Once their point is made, that's really the most important thing at this point for them, right? But it's like you don't want to be in this space anymore, Um you, you don't really want anyone that's too opinionated, especially about the choices and the decisions that you're now going to be making um, and the changes that's coming in. All right. So it's important for you maybe to get a little quiet and not share your um, your visions and your dreams so much with people that don't support you um, spiritually, mentally or emotionally. OK, because you will be making change. And a lot of this would have to do with love. OK. Well, heart shock will work. Definitely. OK. This wisdom card, just so you know, represents you being able to take over the shit that you've learned from the past, especially when it comes to love in your heart, okay? You're also going to have to operate in some forgiveness, okay? That's going to be important. Um, operate in some forgiveness, my wonderful Pisces, and understand that everybody has their own path. Everybody has their own journey, right? Uh, and sometimes the hurt and the pain is really just for you. Not sometimes. The hurt and the pain is always really for you to get the lesson and to help you get to the next level. So if you can really understand that, you will come into such a beautiful place, okay? Mm-hmm. Yep. You're going to have to get the lessons because you have the emperor card on the board. And with this energy right here, this energy could be very dominating energy, okay? Um, this could be a male figure, okay? And if it's not a male figure, this could be someone with very um, dominating masculine energy, okay? Very controlling, maybe even in their thought process or just physically controlling. Very rigid in the way that they do things, okay? And they're not very flexible. It's either my way or the highway type energy that you're dealing with. So this could be you or the, the energy that you're interacting with. But with the emperor card, it's asking you really to take the lessons that's necessary. You got the square here, which represents obstacles and lesson. Fire represents your intuition. The moon is all about your emotions and the sun is your will, okay? Okay? And this is all about you doing the work, okay? You're going to have to do the work. You do have the magician card popping up. So, so far, 
You got three major arcana cards popping up. This is all about life changing choices and moments. The magician is saying tap into your power, tap into your will, okay? Use whatever skills that you have, all right? Really use your concentration to focus on the things that you desire to manifest, not the things that you fear, okay? Um, pay attention to any manipulating energy that's coming over here. Okay, with this dominating, controlling energy and know that you clearly have the choice to, to, to change this on your own. This doesn't have to be a, um, a tower moment where you're not in control. Okay, things are changing. Just know that. And if it should feel like it's falling apart, that is because it is time for change to come in. It's just time, okay? All right, we're going to go ahead and clarify your right now moment, my wonderful Pisces. In your right now moment, you got the sixth of ear energy, okay? Sixth of ear energy is all about your, your spiritual and your mental uh, thinking, okay? With this sixth of ear energy, just know that everything that you're going through is really like a, a, a rite of passage. Like I just said, this is all about you learning. This is all about you having to go through the things that you had to go through um, to get the lesson, okay? Just know that this situation or this circumstance that you're in is it, it, it is clearing up okay now it's contingent that you're doing the work because understand everything is vibration so if you're not doing the internal work okay the internal spiritual work you could see cycles repeating i'm gonna be very honest with you okay the six of ear energy is saying that things are looking up you just got to continue to tap into your intuition because it's clarified by the three of fire three of fire energy is intuitive energy and it's all about uh, abundance and preparation, okay? Um, knowing that you're tapping into this energy, just have the patience uh, and make long-term plans right now, especially as we are in retrograde, okay? That's going to be super important. So the six of air is saying mentally, okay, you're going to have to know that things are changing. Things are looking up mentally, okay? You, you're going to have to know that. That's just a knowing that's going to have to come, okay? Um, and then you're going to have to start to develop that feeling. Use your intuition to tap into the positive things daily, yep? You got the daughter of ear, which is a page of ear, okay? A.K.A. Um, the page of swords. When the page of swords pop up, this is really you being um, in your head a little bit. Uh, too much or maybe you not taking action when you need to or maybe even um, in an energy of someone that has made promises but not delivered them okay uh, feeling maybe a little mentally restless this is why you guys are gonna have to get into a place of meditation yep so you can balance your emotions because you do have the 10 of water popping up, a.k.a. the 10 of cups. This is all about wish fulfilled, okay? This is all about you getting into a place where you're comfortable, comfortable in, in your own skin, comfortable in your own body, okay? Comfortable in your own inner being. Now, what I will say, my wonderful Pisces, is that the way this world is manifested, everything must start internally, okay? So you first have to become comfortable internally. You want to work from the wish fulfilled, state of being okay not um not uh when i said a wish fulfilled state of being is you have to you have to manifest from the state of being of things already being completed it's already done okay so when you think about bringing into existence or experiencing that in which you desire you have to understand and live from a place that it's already it's already done so you live in that experience when you go into meditation and you go into um your quiet time, you see yourself in a new house that you, you, you know, that you're, you're, you um, are setting for it to manifest. You see yourself driving a new car. You feel the car. You smell the car, okay? You envision what the music sounds like as you're driving in the car. See yourself turning down, high, you know, Interstate 20, wherever you are, right? This is how you're manifesting, Pisces. You're manifesting by being able to feel that thing into existence, okay? So if you're feeling like you're not worthy of that thing or you're not worthy of of wish fulfilled, just know that that is exactly what you're going to bring into your experience, okay? All right, so the Ten of Water is saying that this is yours to have, my loves, okay? Happiness. This is all about happiness and harmony and things coming into alignment, 
All right. In order for you to get there, however, you're going to have to forgive. Use your wisdom. Take the lessons that you've learned. You do have the fall of water popping up. See? Yep. Yeah. This is all about emotional balance. Having control of your feelings. That's necessary for you, Pisces. You guys are known as the sponge of the zodiac sign because you are just intuitively able to soak up other people's energy. This is why it's important for you to know your own feelings so you're not someone else's emotional puppet or you're not allowing someone else to be an emotional vampire and just steal, suck all your life out of you, okay? So right now we're saying everything that you need is yours to have, but it's contingent on you being able to balance yourself emotionally and pay attention to your emotions so you can control your thinking, okay? You do have um, the two of cups popping up on the board. Now, cups energy, once again, is all about your emotions, okay? And the two of cups represents unified love. This represents partnerships and relationships. This represents attraction, okay? So... What I want to say, my wonderful Pisces, is that as you do the work, know that your emotions is going to come into balance. For some of you, this could also represent that maybe you're going through a breakup. There's some type of imbalance within um, your relationships, and this does not have to just do with a lover. This could be a family member. This could be a friend. Okay, this could be a, co a co-worker. Or maybe there's just lack of feeling, lack of harmony in your life. You feel like you're not able to manifest the things that you want. Okay, um, you just feel like your life is stuck. Okay, this is why you're going to have to push through some things. And this is why your sacral chakra is asking you to take a look at your emotions. Take a look at what you are fearing change of and take a look at um, your fears. Okay, take a look at change. Take a look at your emotions and take a look at your fears. This is what these are asking you to do. Okay, it's yours for you to have. Your work is emotional balance. Yep, you do have the six of ear popping up again. Okay, this is saying, please, please know that it is yours to have. Emotional clarity is yours to have. Victory is yours to have. Know that you were going through a rites of passage. Okay, all of this wasn't for just to experience it. Now you get to be the magician and create things the way you want it to, but you needed to go through these lessons, okay? Remember, energy is a spectrum, okay? So hot and cold is on the same spectrum. You can't really understand hot without experiencing cold. And then you get to choose which spectrum you want to be on. Some people just want to be in the hot spectrum. Some people like it cold. Some people like it in between. The key is balance, where you're not too much on the hot side, you're not too much on the cold side, but you're able to bring balance, okay? That is the key. All right, my wonderful Pisces, in your overall outcome you have the nine of earth popping up which is just really about getting in a place of gratitude okay and this is about self rewarding yourself okay rewarding yourself this is about being able to spend the quality time that you need alone this is about you even um stepping forward um to start that new business that you want to start okay get the plans together in this retrograde energy and then um, preferably you should launch after the retrograde energy when everything goes back into um direct movement so the nine of earth is saying, get in a place of gratitude and know that success is yours to have, okay? Um, enjoy the little things. Um, you know, like love yourself. Um, go buy yourself something, shit. Um, you know? And if you haven't bought yourself something in a really long time, go do that. If you buy shit all of the time, actually start using the shit that you buy. Stop hoarding shit, okay? Uh, and that's clarified by the high priestess energy. Now, this high priestess energy is intuitive energy, okay? She operates in the higher realms, okay? So she's pulling things down from the ethers to manifest them in this realm. She, she knows what she wants. She knows who she is. And she knows exactly her intentions and what she's going to fit. To manifest out here, okay? So she's patient, okay? Um, and she's very careful and considerate to think about what she wants to do before she does it, okay? She doesn't act just to act, okay? Now, um, you have to listen to your intuition and this energy, right? Now, with this card, this can also represent maybe some hidden agendas, okay, with somebody that you're dealing with, Okay? Um, because this nine of earth could be saying to you putting too much energy, especially maybe financial energy into someone and they got hidden agendas and you need to pay attention to your um, inner voice. Okay, so we're going to clarify this nine of earth energy with the high priestess. Energy. I'm going to do your video and then I am going to go get a haircut and a manicure and then I'm going to come back and finish the rest of the water signs. All right. Okay, my wonderful Pisces. So we're going to clarify the nine of earth, which is telling you to be in a place of gratitude. 
and pay attention not to put your energy towards any situation or any person or anything that's not um, serving your highest good, okay? Pay attention to your intuition. If your intuition say don't answer the phone, don't answer the phone, okay? Yep. You do have, you got the Knight of Rainbow here, okay, which is AKA the Knight of Pentacles. This is all about being methodical. This is about coming up with your own routine. This is about doing what works for you. See, the same thing the High Priestess is saying over here and the Nine of Earth is saying, okay, you're gonna have to take care of you. Spiritually, mentally, and physically take care of yourself, okay? Um, the, the Knight of uh, Pentacles, a.k.a. the Knight of Rainbow, could also be like you just bored. You know, you feeling stuck. That's what we just talked about, okay? So, I love this card because whenever this card shows up, you see this turtle here? This turtle takes its shell wherever it goes, which means it takes its home wherever it goes. Which means you take you wherever you go. Which means you're the only one that you have, Okay? So you need to work on you, love on you, do nice things for you, get you up, get your faith up, get your feelings up, get your vibration up, okay? Cut out old conversations that's not raising your vibration. And you don't have to argue with people. You really don't, okay? And sometimes y'all could think y'all know everything. I'm just saying, Pisces, okay? Don't cast your pearls to swine, Pisces, all right? High peace, this is saying step in your energy, okay? Knight of Rainbow, a.k.a. the Knight of... um. Pentacles is saying, listen, be methodic about how you move in. Don't waste your energy, okay? You got the Knight of Cups popping up, okay? That's all about your emotions. Yep, don't waste your energy. This is um either trust your imagination, okay? Trust your emotions, okay? To lead you to what needs healing and what you need to embrace, all right? This can also represent new love coming in, a knight in shining armor coming in. This could just, you be tapping into your third eye, getting third eye activation and seeing things differently. Stepping into a place where you're more realistic, okay? Dealing with your jealousy issues and your moodiness because you're not facing your feelings. You're going to have to get out of your feelings so you can get into your feelings, okay? Because if you all up in your feelings and you're feeling po, woe is me, everybody hate me, people are always out to get me, you know, she a bitch, she an asshole type shit, then you're not seeing what you need to learn from this situation, okay? So you're going to have to trust your intuition and trust yourself to own your shit, right? Own your shit. So you're more realistic and you can get rid of the moodiness and whatever jealousy. Or you could be dealing with somebody that's very jealous and moody and that's because they don't know who the fuck they are, okay? You got the three of pentacles, a.k.a. the three of rainbow in this deck showing up. Pentacles energy is all about this third dimensional realm. This is saying, understand that you got guidance coming in. And this could also be this um, knight in shining armor energy coming in. So as you do the work, as you celebrate, as you let go, you do have love coming in. You do have trustworthy people coming in. Yep, because this three of pentacles, um, a.k.a. the three of rainbow energy, represents teamwork. This is all about f fulfillment. This is all about learning. This is all about collaboration, okay? So you do have progress going on, my wonderful Pisces, okay? you just going to have to make the decision if you're going to get out your feelings or not. Boom. See, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. You got transformation on the board. This is a death card. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Don't fight the change. The change is going to happen anyway. Okay, so you're either going to change and repeat a new cycle, go into a new cycle of experience, or you're not going to change, right, and repeat an old cycle of the same experience with different faces and different experiences, but the same energy, okay? Um, let's see what numbers you need to pay attention to. Okay. You got a lot of sixes on the board, Okay. That's like um, going into your shadow side and um, your dark side work. Now, your shadow side and your dark side is your your um, insecurities. That's your fears. That's the unknown. That's parts of yourself that you don't know that we're taught to fear, okay? So you guys do need to Google um, trip, uh, sixes and see what, what that means because your number that popped up is triple six. Actually, four sixes you got. One, two, three, four. 
You got four of them on the board. You need to Google what that means spiritually. Not the negative bi biblical shit what they tell you about the devil and shit. That's just running you away from yourself, okay? You need to get the real alchemy, the alchemy meaning of what that numerology means. This is a sacred geometric number which translates into a pattern. Okay, so find out what that number represents within the pattern. Get the message. Okay, the 666 ain't nothing about the devil. I'm just saying, Pisces. All right, when you grow and you learn and you expand and you seek, okay, to show thyself approve, then you're able to get a, a bigger understanding of really. Um, I, I would say, if you want to go with Jesus, where he talked about. Um, greater, you will do greater things than I, because he understood all of this stuff. Okay. He was a Gnostic. Okay. Not a Christian, but a Gnostic. All right. Okay. My wonderful Pisces. So you guys are going through transformation. You're going to have to push through some things and trust yourself and deal with the things that's coming forth. Use wisdom with forgiveness and understanding and compassion. Another thing, compassion don't always mean saying yes and helping somebody. Compassion sometimes means saying hell no and moving on. All right. Um, compassion does not always mean you being a um, an enabler to other people. Okay, Pisces? All right, my loves. I hope this video was helpful. I will see you guys in your next video. Just know to love yourself. Okay, be kind to yourself. And it's asking you to do that. It is literally asking you to be kind for yourself. Time out. Take a time out and love on yourself. Time out. It's time to love on you. Okay? All right, my wonderful Pisces. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Drink plenty of water because it is summertime. Bye.